And then um, I quickly want to lastly touch upon this. This is courtesy of Hypebeast. And this features our Aries opening up their first store here in London. I've had plenty to say about Aries because I feel like, you know, I was a fan of the brand early on. And I feel like over time, they've somewhat lost their way. They feel like they're going in 17 directions at once. And none of them really make too much sense. Um, maybe it's a price point. Maybe it's the aesthetic overall. Maybe it's the fact that they use really, really young, young models. But the clothes are super expensive. And you feel like, hold on, who's buying this stuff? Like the people that I see buying this stuff are like my age. I don't see kids under 25 buying this at all. And if they are wearing it, it feels like they got it for free. So it's all, it's all a bit strange. But again, they decided to open a store. And I think even though I have my reservations about them, I think the store is probably going to be the smartest decision ever that they've done because I feel like Aries as a brand maybe does need a physical store to actually tell their story and to kind of get across their vibe and to maybe understand better who their actual customers are once they come into the doors because maybe there's a disconnect in that regard of them not understanding who their customers are, maybe thinking because they're, you know, because of the founders, um, so I think her name's Sophia Prantera, and I think she used to do it with this other guy who was also, if I'm not mistaken, wasn't yet. Yeah, I think, if I'm not mistaken, Aries was started by Sophia Pantera and um, her husband. I'm not sure if they're still married, but the guy was associated with Palace. And um, they used to work together. So, you know, very cool hipster crowds they used to run in. So maybe just because they're where, where they're from and their backgrounds, they probably naturally thought their brand would be associated with certain scenes and certain groups of people. But I guess... Again, I don't, I've never owned a brand, but I think over time, sometimes your brand just ends up having a life of its own and ends up kind of touching and resonating with people you probably didn't expect it to resonate with. And it takes some time to understand who those people are and maybe kind of, you know, try to maybe start to make stuff for them in some way, shape or form, or maybe speak to them in a way. But anyway, regardless, this is the store in London that I'm clicking through the pictures to kind of see. Standard retail store in terms of the vibe, you know how it is. Sparse space, bare walls, um, you know, uh, somewhat aggressive fixturings and whatnot. Loads of plywood in bits and places and stuff. And loads of blank spaces that people are going to probably be tagging on and graffitiing on and whatnot. But I feel like the rest of it, the bits of bobs, like the accessories, the books, the music that's going to be playing, the scents that are going to be in there, the staff that are going to be in the store are going to really um, play a huge part into dictating whether or not Arise, every story ends up being a successful brand or not in the future. But I feel like this store is definitely a good idea, especially if they start doing like, you know, in-store releases, they start doing DJ live streams there, shows, whatever it may be, screenings, all these things are going to be really important, book signings, whatever it may be, they're really going to help um, the store to kind of essentially act as a sounding board or as a meetup community spot for people to rock up in. Oh, they've even got a coffee shop here, it looks like, in one of these pictures, they've got this really nice, this a really beautifully designed, not even nice, a really beautifully designed coffee Coffee store, um, coffee counter here, um, inside of the store that looks really, really beautiful. I'm not gonna lie, this I love the mix of metal with wood. That looks really, really awesome. I love the look of this with the rounded corners. Yeah, I like this. Probably my favorite. And also that plant pot is really nice as well. Um, a nice aluminium syrind syrindical steel um, plant pot that kind of reminds me of the Starship from SpaceX a little bit. But that looks really, really cool. And then you've also got a downstairs basement bit also. Oh, wow. See, they can do screenings here downstairs. They've got a whole space downstairs to do screenings. And so, again, it, as people are saying in the chat, it does look a bit generic, but I feel like they need a generic space to be able to tell a very interesting story. That's what they need. They need a generic space to tell an interesting story because at the moment, just from posting lookbook pictures and of like kids under the age of 25 looking and smiling and looking cool, it just doesn't resonate with the people that I actually see wearing it. And also it just feels like the stuff is all over the place. Like there's some tie dye here, there's some over dye here, there's some, you know, whatever. It just, it just feels all over the place a little bit. So maybe the store will have to kind of, you know, um, focus it in a little bit. The article courtesy of Hypebee says London-based label Aries opens its first uh, doors, opening the doors, sorry, to its first ever physical retail location in British capital. The 4,000 square foot store set in London's dynamic Soho neighborhood designed across two-story layout. Aries debut brick and mortar location supplies a state-of-the-art experience by combining a co-ed fashion ideals with a curated artistic notions. What the fuck does that mean? who knows in addition the brand will present exclusive collaborations and install installations and international partners that bring aries unique culture to life love it 
So if they have a New Balance, another New Balance collaboration, which they hopefully should, it'll be cool. It'll be good, good to do a launch in there, kind of get it really popping and whatnot. The space is dominated by a simplistic design language, combining the British techniques and Italian craftsmanship. Mm. Rugged cement flooring is contrasted by bespoke wooden furniture with an effortless outlook. A grand scaffold staircase connects both floors with sleek marble detailing while leather accents deliver an elegant touch. Furthermore, Parisian-born um, coffee shop Paperboy will host the first pop-up outside of France, permanently residing inside Airy store. The on-the-go on coffee will serve Paperboy signature sandwiches and coffee and collaboration with East Aries and East London's Dark Arts Coffee. So they've got Paperboy, whoever Paperboy is. Let me see who Paperboy Coffee is. I guess this is like the that, that, that coffee shop in LA that everyone goes to now. So all these trendy coffee shops will have little pop-ups, which is a pretty cool idea to have actually i'm not actually mad at that at all in the slightest um and it's definitely going to give it a buzz and whatnot and allow people to come in there and sit outside and whatnot and chill and kind of create a little community around it but yeah judging by the paperboy coffee here on instagram again very cool aesthetic in overall i love the logo they make pastries they make good coffees and whatnot so people are going to be into that and then the other people they're partnering with is a firm called dark arts coffee which I'm assuming by the name might be some sort of like metal inspired coffee brand or something along that kind of lines. They probably have long sleeve shirts with gothic printing on the sleeves that say dark arts coffee. So all this stuff I think will resonate really well with the brand and obviously help people to kind of get an idea of what they're about and whatnot. So as this website loads up, let's see it. Yep. It's kind of making a lot of sense to me. Loads of memes on there smiling hipsters mustaches chinos long hair tattoos people riding chopper bikes and shit so yeah all this stuff will work really well i think going forward and i'm eager to see it and how it transpires actually you know what funnily enough this might be someone i saw i might have seen this person somewhere in hackney actually before riding a chopper i was like who rides a chopper in london because you don't really see um chopper motorbikes in london for the most part you don't really see a lot of people riding them out and about and i saw one i may have saw one of these guys riding around town with um some very trendy supreme clothing and one of these choppers but yeah looking really cool eager to see how it kind of builds and grows and i feel like actually this might be an actually good idea for aries going forward so aries london store is open at the moment so if you care about the brand you care about what they want to do you want to see them grow you want to see them do interesting cool things and i do do encourage you to check them out if that is your vibe i do in check with you to check them out if that is your vibe the store is open to the public now you can visit it at 31 great pulteney street london w1f 9 n n open from 11 to 7 p.m brutal retail hours but that is the truth brutal hips uh, retail hour, but that is the truth that is the truth <laughs>